What's going on, guys? Welcome back to The Walking Dead and New Frontier. In the last episode, David unfortunately died. We made a family. We're playing on a family with Kate. I like you, Jesus. You cool, man. You got that right. You're a real charmer. Do you know that? I don't. <laughs> oh, that's not awkward at all. Because he's just homosexual, so. That haircut does suit him. I hate his comic book look to it. I like the game look. You got that right, my friend. I don't like his haircut look in the comics. I like in the sh in the show. Fuck the game. I'll do it. Absolutely. Man, it's been a long time since we've seen Jesus. I read people pretty well. A little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. That change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. Yeah, and I am. Uh, I'll step up. Town could use it. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Well, that kind of hints the, uh... So maybe the, uh... Better hands than it was. Original trailer for the game is actually season four. Later yeah. on in season four. Yeah. Jesus? Hey, uh, Dave. Thanks for... I love you know, ...not letting me get killed. And for coming back to help us. Yeah. Thanks for that, man. Yeah, thanks, bro. Pay it forward. God damn, that is badass armor. I'm jealous! Jesus is a badass, too. Hey, Lingard. He told me. He told shit. I'm not gonna say thank you for keeping me alive, but I'm gonna try and find something out there that might make me say thank you someday. So where's he's Agent? Tall. Tell me, where? Do it for Clementine. No, Clem won't rest until she finds AJ. Where is he? Please, man, for her sake. He's in McCarroll Ranch. It's not too far from here. Well, last time we were uh, around that kind of area, there were cannibals. Thank you. Good luck out there, Doctor. See? How hard was that, Clem? You're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. Cool. I have to find AJ Hobby. Season four, I'm glad I am. It's so long. Yeah, what's up? Second chances. How? Oh my god! <laughs> We're giving her a haircut? Damn, it's been a while. Since season one. Damn, it's really been a long time. Steve. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. See the switch you gave it to me? At least to have someone to Dude's got a crush on you. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but you know the guy's got a Mondo crush on you, right? He does not. Oh my gosh, you have a crush on him? <laughs> 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 Fuckers. <laughs> I have to see that he's You're not having these things in a relationship. And fuck that. You think he remembers me? To be honest, who the hell could forget you? It's you, Glenn. No one who knew you could never forget you. you. We always remember. Yeah, maybe. Because I didn't have much you. Know, Everyone told yeah. us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. Clem. I Probably can't were. stop thinking about it. Of course you were. Did you love it? With all of my heart. And of course you were. Hmm. He told me you used to play baseball. 
baseball. I did. I loved it. I can tell you fucked it all up too. Yep. Yeah, I did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? Loss gives you strength. If you really loved it. How? That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. Why does that sound familiar? Bomb, that is. Oh, okay. That sounds really familiar. Get the hat. You know what? I'll grab your hat. Good choice. Ah, uh, the biggest fan of the haircut. Remember this team. Did that ever teach you about baseball? What? No, not really. When you come back, I'll tell you all about it. I'm not the biggest fan That's of her hair, deal. to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of it. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? Hmm. Bring him back. You bet. He belongs get, with you. Get out of here. Bring it back. God, right at the end of the Walking Dead New Frontier. This is so weird. Don't! Good. I'll accept the hug, but not a kiss. I would have fucking killed Gabe. I would take, <laughs> I would take him already on my bat and pass the skull in like Abraham. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> he just died in the last episode. Copyright music. And I actually kind of like the music too, to be honest. And here we are in The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. Episode 5 from The Gallows. Damn. Your experience with David was dysfunctional. You accepted David's hand after you punched you. You tried to leave Richmond without David. And the time you need, you just you distanced yourself from David. Gabe had to bring his own life after after David turned. That's just a weird way of saying he died. That's so weird. Your experience with Kate was loving. You kissed Kate in the junkyard. You supported Kate's plan to escape Richmond. You told Kate you wanted a you wanted a future with her. You told Kate you wanted to start family with her. Two of those are the exact same uh, meaning. Your experience was gay. With Gabe was safety first. You upset Gabe by not staying in the trailer for the for the night. You told Gabe the truth about his neighborhood friend, and you helped Gabe save Richmond before going after Gabe. Uh, trip. You sure? You sure? Anyways, you trip. I. You sure trip by promising you wouldn't cause trouble in Prescott, and you went to jump. Took our trip in the end. Trip saved your life on the overpass, despite you not choosing him to be saved. Eleanor, you left Eleanor at Prescott when you went to the junkyard. Then Eleanor uh, leaked your plan to. And I can't even read that. Ultimately, you did not forgive Eleanor for her betrayal. Ava, R.I.P. Ava. Ava. Okay, so basically, if you put two and two together. You stand with David at, on the ledge. You and 92% of players stepped up to help David. What did you say about Kate? 
which says to David about Kate, you and 53.6% of players can mention your love for Kate. Did you fight David back? You and 36.6% of players fought David back and took his anger on you. Oh, on you. Oh, my dick. Oh, my dick. Did you go after Dave or, or with David? You and 63.9% of players went with, went with Kate and sealed the Richmond breach. Did Club Design come along with you after the, fu the fight? It's like flight. At the fight with David Clem followed her own plans splitting up you with you. Okay. And there's one more My Clementine. And my Clementine is come on please. A liberated warrior. Clementine named Chubb Solo to the dangerous territory fighting off walkers by and barely surviving. After the circumstances forced her to join the new frontier, Clem didn't hesitate to use her resources for her own ends, leading to exile and tearful farewell. When Javi David, and David fought at the Water Tower, Clem remembered a similar fight long ago, snow covered with stops. She could carefully place the shot on David's violence without killing him. Once David left in the truck with Gabe, Clementine knew that the best course of action was to go alone. Leave Javi's side and help the person that he, he didn't choose. And here's an after credit scene. We're going marble on your asses! Clementine's story will continue. Anyway, guys, that is the end of The Walking Dead, a new frontier. And, uh, I am gonna miss the series because it was like one of the best series I've done in a while and uh, the next series is gonna be this yeah this is the next series premiering on July 1st through the 8th cuz you know hype for story mode <laughs> uh, anyways if it loads load damn it load you vagina okay Look at load so uh, I'm gonna show you uh, that once it loads. Keep on loading. Here we go. So basically, the next series will be Minecraft Story Mode. Yes, a revamped Minecraft Story Mode. And I'm super excited because I want to do the series again because I loved the series last time. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the end of the Walking Dead New Frontier series, and I'll see you guys in Minecraft Story Mode. Bye!